Challenge. And traveling for free is impossible. Or is it? Ask our small mind at large. Or is it? Top of the morning to you, Houston. I'm Jonathan Walton. Imagine visiting 30 countries without forking over a single dollar for plane fare. Opening Walton's World this morning. Look, listen, and learn, but think real hard before doing it yourself. He's a 27-year-old Frenchman on a maddening mission. Excuse me to disturb you. His I name is Ludwig Hubler. Ludwig Hubler. Hubler. And basically, for the past two years, he's been hitchhiking around the world without spending a dime on transportation. When I was about eight, nine years old, I was already looking at maps of the world, thinking one day we'll tour the world. And I believe it's, our, it's important to follow dreams. Ludwig's dream started in his home country of France a couple years ago. He then hitchhiked across the continent of Africa through the Sahara Desert, taking pictures along the way, and making it into newspapers everywhere. When he got to the African coast... Then I crossed the ocean, the, the Atlantic Ocean, with a sailing boat, hitchhiking a sailing boat to go to Brazil. This is that boat. This is Ludwig. When he got to Brazil, he hitchhiked down to the tip of South America and then hitched another boat ride to Antarctica. From there, he thumbed it up the western coast of South America, got manhandled by the military in Colombia, made his way through Central America, through Mexico, then Houston. And as dangerous as taking rides from strangers can get. In two years of hitchhiking, I haven't had any problems. Unless you count the night he spent in an African prison for not having the right travel documents. Did you drop the soap? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Ludwig doesn't hitchhike the old-fashioned way either. So you walk up to total strangers in gas stations. That's it. Introduce yourself, show them your clippings, and they give you rides? Exactly. Well, not exactly. You all going this direction now? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ludwig does spend money, though, 10 to 12 bucks a day on food, among other things. But I managed to hook him up in Houston at Katz's with a New York-sized chicken sandwich. How can I eat that? <laughs> I don't even know how to stop. While Ludwig doesn't have a paying job, per se, he does get money from sponsors who visit his website, ludwigubler.com. They read all about his fearless travels and vicariously get swept up into donating financial assistance. I'm very lucky to be French. And ladies, guess what? He's still single. It's impossible to be married when you do that because I'm, I'm going to travel for about five years. Maybe you can have a wife in every city. Maybe. Oh, oh no, no, he can't. He can't. I've learned two things now from Ludwig Hubler. Number one, how to catch a ride. Not good. You kind of have to step out in front of the car. I notice you do that. Yeah. You do kind of a this thing. This, like a provoke a little bit. And number two. Not all the French people are rude to Americans. Just most of them. After Ludwig crisscrosses North America, he plans to cross the Pacific. Then Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Birmania, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, if I can, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Turkey, Bulgaria, Serbia, Croatia, Germany, and back home to France in about three years from now. Talk about a man on a mission, Devin Ron. He sleeps in parks sometimes, or people hook him up to his website. He finds friends in different countries, and they put him up while he's in town. So, How do you say his name again? Ludwig Hubler. Ludwig Hubler. His website, ludwighubler.com, okay. or log on to ktu.com. We'll hook you up. All right. Merci beaucoup. Very good. We'll be right back. <laughs>